among the gusty trees. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon the seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor. The highwaymen came riding up to the old inn door. He had a French cocked hat, a bunch of lace at his chin, a coat of claret velvet, and breeches of brown doe skin. It fitted with never a wrinkle, his boots up to a thigh, his pistol butts a twinkle under the jeweled sky. Over the cobbles he clattered and clashed in the dark eaten yard. He tapped his whip on the shutters, but all was locked and barred. He whistled the tune of the window, and who should be waiting there? Best the landlord's daughter, love not in her hair. Where Tim the ostler listened, his face was white and peaked. His eyes were hollows of madness, like hair of moldy hay. But he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's rather daughter. Dumb as a dog, he listened, and he heard the robber say, You kiss my bony sweetheart, I'm after a prize tonight. But I should be back with yellow gold before the morning light. But if they press me sharply, and carry me through the day, I'll come to thee by moonlight. Though hell should bar the way. He rose up right in the stirrups. He scarce could reach her hand. But she loosened her hair in the window, and his face looked like the brand. As the black cascades of perfume came tumbling over his breast, he kissed and waved to the moonlight and galloped the way to the west. He did not come in the dawn. He did not come at noon. And out of the tawny sunset before the rise of the moon, when the road was a gypsy's ribbon, looking over the purple moor, the red coat troops came marching up to the old inn door. They said no word to the landlord. They drank his ale instead, and down to bat his daughter foot of the narrow bed, two of them out of the window, with muskets at their side, and hell at one dark window, the road that he would ride. They tied her up with many a sniggering jest, they bound a musket beside her, with the barrel beneath her breast, now keep a good watch, and they kissed her, they heard the dead man say, look for me by the moonlight, though hell should bar the way. She twisted her hands behind her, but all the knots held good. She writhed her hands till fingers were wet, and then she understood. They stretched and strained in the darkness, the hours crawled by like years, till now on the stroke of midnight, the trigger at last was hers. The tip of the finger touched it, she strove no more for the rest. Up but she stood at attention with a barrel beneath her breast. She would not risk their hearing, she would not strive again, and the blood in her veins in the moonlight throbbed for her love's refrain. Blah, blah. Had they heard it, the horse hoofs ringing clear. Blah, blah. In the distance, were they deaf? Did they not hear? Blah, blah. The highwaymen came riding. Blah, blah. The redcoats took their priming. Blah, in the frosty silence, blah, in the echoing night. Nearer and nearer they came, her face was like a light. Her eyes grew wide for a moment, she drew one last breath. Her musker shattered the moonlight and warned him with her death. He turned and spurred to the west, he did not know who stood. Bowed with her head over the musket, drenched with her own blood. Not till the dawn had he heard it, his face grew gray to hear how best the landlord's daughter had died in the darkness there. Back he spurred like a madman, shrieking a curse to the sky. With the white road smoking behind him, his rapier brandished high. Blood red were her spurs in the golden noon, wine red was his velvet coat. They shot him down in the highway, blood seeped from his brittle throat. And still a winter's night, they say, when the wind is in the trees. When the moon is a ghostly galleon tossed upon the seas. When the road is a ribbon of moonlight, over the purple moor, a highwayman comes riding up to the old inn door. Over the cobbles he clangs and clatters into the dark yard inn. He taps his whip on the showers, but all is locked and barred. He whistles a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there? Bess, the landlord's daughter, loved not in her long black hair. 